Hi, I'm Rob from RobinFoto.com and in today's little video about the HTC One Max I thought we'd take a quick look at some music listening uh, apps. Um, uh, first off, first up, let's have a look at the FM radio that comes built into the phone. Um, if you want to use the FM radio, you've just got to make sure that you've uh, got your headphones plugged in, as I've got here, you see the sort of wire hanging out the back. And it's a uh, just a really nice basic radio. When you first turn the um, radio on, it will go through and it'll automatic tune to all the local radio stations. And it's pretty good at locking in. And uh, as you can see, you know when you when you click on the uh, the radio station that you want, you'll get the radio name up there, Radio One. You can fine tune it, and then you could add it as a favourite as well. Um, and then what you can do is up here on the top left hand side, if you click that, you can then just have your favourite. So I've got like uh, Radio 1, I think I've got Radio 2. So if I then go in, I can say rename, and I can rename that to Radio 1. Oh, we're not Radio Q. Radio, what am I doing? Radio 1. Save. There we go. So Radio 1 now. Is called a radio one so that's quite good isn't it and um, we could go through and obviously while we're in the in the app we can then turn the volume up and down um, and uh, there we go there isn't really that much more to say about the app apart from it does have a rather cool little feature let's see if I can let's go to a station that's playing something chance would be a fine thing wouldn't it Right, let's, if we press this button up here, Sound Hound, top right on screen. What should happen is it should, with a, okay, so yes, it has found something. What's it found? Queen, it's found Queen, okay, good. So what you can do is you can go through and if you hear something on the radio, you could then say, actually, yes, I would uh, like to know what that is. And then I would like to go and uh, go and buy it or something like that. So, uh, yeah, nice little interesting thing. I've got to admit, I don't really listen to the radio that much. Um, but, you know, it's there. It's on the phone. You can use it if you want to. Um, the next app uh, is one that I use an awful lot, which is Stitcher which is this one here, in fact, let's turn that radio off. That's better. Let's go back to, so Stitcher. Now this is actually, let me, if I go into the Play Store, it's got a different name. Let's have a look for it, Stitcher. Stitch. Uh, there we go. This is in the, no, not in music. I don't want to go to music, thank you very much. I want to go to the store home. Let's search for Stitcher. There we go. And it's Stitcher Radio for podcasts. That's the one we're interested in. And then when you fire it up, with a little bit of playing around, you get to a situation where you've got a fairly good free app that will download over Wi-Fi, if you tell it to only, your favorite podcast. Now, I've found it quite difficult to, to find a really decent free podcast player, and Stitcher seems pretty good. Not every single podcast is on it. In fact, if we let's see if I'm on it, let's do a search for SCL, see if anything comes up. Well, not S. Uh, SCL. No, see, the, the, my podcast isn't on Stitcher when you search the mobile app. It is if you search on the desktop. Um, but anyway, it seems to work pretty well. Now, the settings you need to change are, when you go into the settings, you won't need to do it to say, when the app launches, to show my stations there. So it just goes straight to your podcast. I mean, if you're interested in all the uh, internet radio stuff, then use that. If you go to show my stations, and then what you do is to kind of build up the list of um, podcasts that it'll always download. So let's search for another podcast. So I don't know, what should we search for? I don't know, say Mac Break Weekly. Mac Break Week. Ooh, too many. If I could spell right, that'd be great, wouldn't it? 
Mac Break Weekly. So what I can do, see if I click on it, and it goes into and it tells you all about it. If I go to Listen Later, that then adds it to my Listen Later queue, so it will it will download it when it needs to. And then what I can do now is if I go into the the Listen Later section of the app, which is here. There we go and then go into the thing. If you press the little, this little cross up on the top right hand side, that then adds it to your favorites. So what that means is, if we go back and then go back into the app, you should see that the, on, the, on the home screen, you, your favorites come up. Oop, very rough. Um, I didn't want to top news, but there we go. So Mac Break Weekly is there. So I think that that's that's um, really really cool. Um, and as you can see, you probably see it's downloading all my favourite um, all my favourites there. So actually, it's quite a practical um, app for downloading and listening to podcasts, kind of offline. Um, just like you know you'd expect to do on your on your iPod or something like that. Um, if anybody else comes up with a, a better free app for downloading and listening to podcasts automatically as well it's got to be something that when you just open the app it does everything automatically i don't want to mess around having to press buttons and things i know there's some paid options over there but for now stitcher seems to work well for me and the kind of the final uh, little app i'd like to look at well, i said little it's pretty major, major is google play if you don't know google play it's a um done by done by google funnily enough and it enables you to um whoop, it enables you to store for free up to I think it's 20,000 songs online so basically you can put your entire record collection online for free and then listen to them on any of you I think up to 10 different devices I could be wrong about that um, and uh, yeah I mean, it's pretty good isn't it obviously on something like a, a mobile phone you're gonna want an, a, a good data plan and a fast data plan in order to listen to everything but you can listen to lots of things locally in other words you can download individual songs so this is kind of the main menu so we've got listen now my layer library playlist instant mixes the shops and the settings but say if we go into my library and then we have sort of by genre um, artists albums and songs so we could go down to i don't know probably get a bit embarrassed here by the different songs you'll see i've got on here there we go let's go to abbey road by the d the beatles and i could now say i could actually pin that see with that little pin thing just there if i pinned that that would then download that locally so it would be on my phone to listen to um i could just play it i could create a new playlist which we'll talk about in a minute or you know i could just start just start playing it here we go a bit of luck you might hear this over the headphones that are still plugged in there we go i don't want to play too much because youtube's great at picking up copyrighted material and stopping to do it so let's let's stop that um so where were we let's go then go back to the beginning so we looked at my library you've got listen now which is again is mixes and the things you've been listening to and your playlist so these are things you make up so um a song so for example here i've got my rocking playlist with enter sandman number of the beast some bruce some uh, cooler shaker some cult on there and again i could pin this i mean this one is pinned and make sure that doesn't locally so you can do things the, the whole point is you can do things on your laptop or your desktop machine and then you can download it and then we've got instant mixes which are made up by google which some of them can be um, quite good so let's look at this born to run instant mix so these are the ones that are done by google let's see what it's um, come up with oh put the rolling stones to start off with oh, no acdc sorry summer of 69 brian adams a bit of bruce brian adams again or Bruce, Don McLean, and they, they can be a little bit fun. Sometimes it does get them right, and sometimes you think, oh, I mean, I guess all these songs are in your um, are in your uh, record collection, and you can even choose to try all access as well. So I think it's for about nine ninety nine a month. You get unlimited access to tens, hundreds of thousands of different songs. But until until there, let's go back to my library. 
let's go to albums until then though i mean google play is a really nice little app to have on your phone to download all your different um uh, your music up to the the, the cloud and then uh, listen to it on your mobile and you, as i say you can pin your favorite albums and your favorite songs and your favorite playlists to the phone so they're stored locally so you can listen to them when you're offline so there we go i hope this little uh, demonstration of the radio app uh, stitcher and google music has uh, informed you about some of the things you could do with your htc1 max phone my name's rob from robblanford.com thanks for watching